Okay, so you probably noticed from the title and the thumbnail, I kind of lied a little bit on Saturday. We're not back with a start brand new season. We're here with the African Cup of Nations once again with Senegal. Hoping to actually complete it this time, go and win it. And um, do better than we did last time out when we got knocked out in the quarterfinal stage. Welcome back to Tuna's Travels. <laughs> Yeah, so we're here for the African Cup of Nations group stage today. We have South Africa, Congo and Gabon in our group with us. You can see South Africa have already played Gabon, beat them 2-0. Now in theory, Ivory Coast in the world rankings are the only nation that are better than us. Um, so we should be winning this group comfortably. Should be. And um, I, I really am hoping for better than last time out. Uh, we got to be winning this competition soon we finished second in our qualifying group apparently my job's still in danger i don't really know but this is the team that we're, we're pulling for today's game mendy saul sam daffy and guy Kulibali, kamara sambu sima Kulibali, and balde up top so um yeah so hopefully we can go and kick off really well in the group stage have a fantastic performance, give us that little bit of confidence, that momentum for the rest of this tournament. But at the same point, it's not going to matter too much if we don't win, because of course it is um, three teams that we have to play, as long as we don't lose, really. Um, and we are underway here against Congo. We, of course, in the white, they are in the red, and it's Kulabali bringing it into midfield, Sima. Out for Sambo. Running at his man in for Saul, who stands across up towards Baldé. Kulabali instead at the back post. Ibrahima Kulabali, five and a half minutes into the game, gives us the lead and um, kicks us off nice and well. Sambo did well here. Saul found that space. A couple of players closing down, but can't get close to him. It's over the head of Baldé and Kulabali unmarked volleys home for one nil and it's it that's a good start it's exactly how we wanted to start the game and the tournament as well um judging off that first result obviously south africa the team that we have to beat free kick though for congo and danga it's one and mendy tips it wide for a corner ball good save from the goalkeeper there mudonga to deliver and Bakua is free at the back post to bring that down. And Danga now hits one and finds the back of the net. That's a wonderful strike from Chris and Danga. Already had one from that free kick, but marking it that corner was was so poor. How can you have that much space in the penalty here to bring the ball down? Dafe obviously can't make a challenge from there. It's the wrong side. Can't give away a penalty, but that is a wonderful strike from Danga to level things up. Here am I already talking about a South Africa game when... Um, Congo are not willing to lay down and take it. Bruce Ankle for Sima, he's fine with that. We don't need to take him off. But we are sort of um, not playing fantastically here. We're having more of the ball, but when you look at the chances, we're not really creating anything. Danga to Kalenga. Flicked into Dikamona. And uh, can we go and get a foot in here, maybe, and win this ball back? It doesn't look like it. We are going to win it back here, though. Guy to Kulabali. He looks forward first time for Balde. He's in. Can he beat the keeper? Yes, he can. It's Sana Balde with the goal to make it 2-1 right on the stroke of half time. The ball has just gone up with two additional minutes in this first half. And uh, we regain that lead. And it was just his ball from Kulabali over the top. Balde curve and his run to stay on side. And uh, questionable goalkeeping, really. He probably should have gone down to his feet a bit early with that one. But we go into half time 2 1 ahead. We don't particularly care what their goalkeeper does as long as we keep scoring past him. Asima will now come off for Badji. Let's bring Badji on for him. Um, he's only bruised ankle, so he didn't particularly need to come off. But 
we don't want to risk it being something serious or you know him wearing down it's a long old tournament this is and half an hour to go we are still in the lead we're going to praise the players and we are going to look at making a couple of changes now Daffy can come off being on a booking for El Hajsia and let's take off Musa Kamara for Ibrahim Diallo who will be retiring from international football within the next year um, so this will probably be the last tournament that we have with him as well um, so hopefully we can go and give him a tournament to remember and with stoppage time we've not really had a highlight in this second half but we don't particularly care because that is three points to kick off our group stage campaign and um, put us in a prime position to qualify for the knockouts very early on. Next up is our second uh, group stage game. So it's time for our second group game. We were playing South Africa in this one in what will basically be a winner takes all um, clash. A couple of changes for this game. Diallo comes into midfield and Diak into the attacking midfielder role. Um, replacing Kamara and uh, Seema, sorry, yeah, Seema I just took out as well. So uh, there are a couple of changes. You see Kulabali also to retire from midfield as well. They're not retiring until um, June of this year. But yeah, this will be our final tournament with both of them. And both of them start in the centre of midfield. For this one, Daffy is just a booking away from suspension. So ideally, he's going to pick up in this game and miss the final group game, which won't matter because we'll have already qualified. Um, that's that's the plan at least. So if we go and hopefully do our part in this game, obviously uh, South Africa had a good win in their first game over Gabon. Um, they have played and they have drawn as well. So a draw would probably take both of us through, to be quite honest with you. Um, but a victory will 100% put that team through, whoever wins. We are 25 minutes into this game and we haven't had a highlight yet. We are the better team, look at the statistics. But as we've seen many, many times in football and through the series, it doesn't matter. Mendy bringing the ball out of his area, finds Sam. Koulibaly to Koulibaly. Back to Guy. Yak. Can we work this ball well? We are switching play now over to Sambo. We are slowly moving forward as well. A couple of yards every few passes further down the pitch. Sambo to Diallo. Into Koulibaly in the midfield. In for Koulibaly. Who should have scored? E. Yeah, I was going to make an excuse, but there is no excuse. He, he really should have scored that chance. Diak now to Sambo. Saul to Sambo. Jack finds Kulabali. In for ball, they maybe. Keeper dies and does get a hand to it. In fact, it was blocked by the defender. The cross is then blocked as well. And August goes back to the keeper. South Africa clear downfield. Daffy heads back forward. So five minutes to go towards half time, and we have a corner to defend. Delivered in, Jonas brings it down. We are so poor from corners. So, so poor from corners. The ball was played back out to Kumalo, who whipped it in, and Halonga finds the back of the net. And it's 1 0 South Africa with their first shot on target all game. And how, again, have we allowed the player to bring the ball down from a corner in the penalty area unchallenged? Highlights straight from kickoff though. Hopefully we can go and immediately get back on level terms. Sam, the guy. Koulibaly into Diak towards the centre of the pitch. Goes back to Guy out on that far side. Ball day. I didn't really have the runners in front of him, so it has to go back to Sam. Guy. Koulibaly now. Can we find a cross? Maybe we can. It's not going to reach Balde though, but it's going to come back out to Koulibaly. Now Diallo. Saul in space. Into Diak. Back to Saul. Get a cross in. He does get a cross in. It's over the head of Balde, but he's tripped. He's pushed. Whatever you want to say. By the goal scorer, Halonga. And now can we level things up with this penalty? It's Sambu. He's missed. It's saved. He keeps it alive though. Back to Koulibaly on the edge of the area. 
Diallo. Hits one. And what a goal from Ibrahima Diallo. Oh, my word. What a strike that is. The penalty was saved. We keep it alive. Sambo to Koulibaly. And this from Diallo is ridiculous. What a hit that is. To level things up. What a goal. And we're not even at half time yet. We've got another highlight now. This game is suddenly coming to life. Koulibaly to Koulibaly. All day space to run. But he gives the ball away. And now Kamalo is in. Can he make it 2-1? And he can. And Balde is giving the ball away. And giving a goal away. And suddenly at the end of this half of football. Everything has just completely gone crazy. And goals happening all over the place. We we were too high up there. That was, that is on my tactics. But Balde should have never given that ball away. It's a silly pass to make really. Especially when he still had space to run into. And we are going to go in half time. 2-1 down. We're going to fresh some arms. And tell them to start playing. Um, we do have a much higher defensive line on this. We're going to attempt to get stuck in as well. Because why not? Um, and that's going to be a bit more direct as well with the ball. So you can see that the uh, the tactics have been tweaked a bit. Um, and... Guy is going to come off a similar ball day there. Um, guy off a Thay as well. Yeah, the, the tactics for Senegal have been tweaked as we've been going on and through the qualification. And I'll be honest with you, I'm really struggling to see my monitor at the moment. You obviously can't see this, but the sun is shining right onto my monitor. So the entire left side is virtually blind for me. Faye brings it forward. Kulabali. Sam to Daffy, Diallo out to Saw, but we are, I mean, we're not particularly getting forward. We are keeping the ball, which I suppose is a positive. Daffy out for Saul, Diak to Sambu. That's over the top for Dai, who levels the game up at 2 2. And I'm actually just going to make a couple of tweaks here. Uh, we'll wait, we'll watch the highlight, first, uh, the replay first. Don't want to spoil that by my tactical tweaking, and it was it was good, well worked football, and then just ball over the top is perfect. One touch, and then just passes it across the keeper into the bottom corner for a two two, and his first ever goal for Senegal. And what I'm going to do here is we are going to go and stick both fullbacks as complete wing backs, get them going forward a bit more. So half an hour to go, it's it is 2-2. And we are gonna have to look at making our final change soon. I press it right as we get a highlight that's happening. Di to Dak. Sambu sort of running his man, he does get to the byline, pulls across in. Di hits one and it's in the back of the net. And it is 3-2 to Senegal. We have the advantage back. Well, I would say we have the advantage back. We're in the lead for the first time in the game. Sambu did well here. He made that space to dig the cross in. Headed back across. And Di with the volley. To make it 3-2. And now we are going to go make a change. And it's Koulibaly going to come off for Badji. Um, that is the only change we get, isn't it? I, I'm not... Yeah, I thought so. For some reason, I thought I saw that South Africa have made five changes. They haven't. We've made all three now with 10 minutes to go. We have the advantage. We have a free kick to defend. Dangerous position for Jacobs. Going to hit this. And it's just over the bar. It was whipping. It certainly was a bit lower. And that's in the back of the net. And we're just hoping now that time ticks away. They've only had two shots on target. They've scored with both of them. But at least full time, and we have qualified now for the uh, knockout rounds of the African Cup of Nations. Get in. Stage one complete. Um, now we need to go and, you know, make sure we, we perform when it matters the most in the knockouts. And... Um, 
we haven't always been the best at doing that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the Gabon game. So I'm going to rotate the squad. It's going to be the players I haven't played. We want to keep players fit for the group stages. So tomorrow we're coming back for the knockout rounds of the African Cup of Nations. So if you have enjoyed this, please do hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here and you do enjoy what you see. Because it does help me out massively. And um, I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.